Let us do a quick review of the concepts that we covered in this particular tutorial. We can add organization units to DHIS2 by going to Apps, searching for organization unit, and going directly to the organization unit application. Note that we can also access organization units from the maintenance application. In order to add an organization unit, I have to make sure that I have the proper parent organization unit selected. This means that if I want to add organization units directly beneath a certain level, I need to make sure that the organization unit immediately above that level is selected. With the proper organization unit selected, we can click on the plus icon in order to add the organization unit. In these examples, we looked at the three main fields of name, short name, and opening date. Once I've added the necessary information for those three fields, I'll click on Save. After we've entered in our various organization units, we can start to group them. This is particularly useful in analysis. It's always a good idea to document the organization unit groups that we are creating. We go to Organization Unit Groups and click on the plus icon. From here, we give the Organization Unit Group a name, a symbol, and select the Organization Units that we want to be part of the group. Lastly, we want to take the Organization Unit Groups that we've created and further group them into Group Sets. We'll click on Organization Unit Group Set and then we can click on the plus icon. Here we give the organization unit group set a name. We can also give it a code and description if we desire. We define whether or not it is compulsory that every organization unit that is within our hierarchy belong to groups within the group set, followed by selecting whether or not this organization unit group set should be available as a data dimension in our reporting tools. We then select the organization unit groups that are part of this group set. Once we have selected those organization unit groups, we click on Save. This process allows us to define our organization units, organization unit groups, and organization unit group sets. This ends the session on organization units. Please give the exercise a try by creating some organization units, groups, and group sets within DHIS2. Let us know if you have any questions, either about any of the material we presented in this demonstration or with the exercises 